हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक ना दिस इज अवर थर्ड वीडियो इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ना सो फार वट वी हैव डन एस वी हैव क्रिएटेड वन ए आर ट्रांजेक्शन देन वी क्रिएटेड वन ए आर रिसीट एंड वी हैव अप्लाइड दैट रिसीट टू दैट पर्टिकुलर ट्रांजेक्शन नाउ द थर्ड स्टेप इज हाउ टू पोस्ट दो क्रिएटेड ट्रांजेक्शन डायरेक्टली टू द जी एल Okay, so now we will be covering uh, this 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 specific area posting to GL. Okay, uh, we will cover this area in two broader ways. Like as you know, if you want to post any specific transaction, I will show you how to post any specific transaction or receipt to the GL, and how to do the posting of entire month at once directly to do to the uh, to our GL. So let's come over here and let's see. that how it works so we'll go to receivables and let's start from the posting of ar invoice that is transaction so i remember my transaction number so i'm going to find my transaction if you go to manage transaction you will be able to find your specific transaction now different ways of finding the transaction you can find it by transaction number if you remember or you can find it by a bill to customer also so i remember my transaction number so i'm going to enter it it was 13825 and let's search okay now here is our transaction number so let me just open this transaction and here you can see actions and here you can see post to ledger now posting to ledger can be done like as in two step first you can do your uh, accounting first and then you can post to ledger but if you directly click on post to ledger it will subsequently do your accounting and then post this transaction to your gl now it says accounting is complete and posting to ledger is in process So if I see our uh, view accounting, it will display our accounting that the invoice has been created. It's a receivable account debit and revenue account which has been credited. Then you can change the accounts if required. So this is the way how to do the posting for any specific transaction. Similarly, we will see how to do the posting of the receipt. So let's move to our receipt part. and account receivable same mechanism same uh, ideology that we are going to do manage receipts and we are going to find our receipt first so let me find my uh, receipt number if you remember your receipt number it's a good show if you don't uh, you can directly enter your uh, customer uh, name you will be able to find it from here also like this or else if you remember your receipt number just paste it over here and find okay so this was my receipt number i'm going to open this and same as we did for transaction directly post to ledger accounting is complete and posting to ledger is in process if we do view accounting it will show our accounting also now this is one way of posting the transactions into the gl i will show you another way that how you can do the transaction posting and receipt posting directly in bulk for the entire month uh, that is quite very easy and usually we do this activity at uh, the month end uh, how it can be done we'll get it directly go to tools schedule processes over here okay by the way these were the request that were being executed for the transactions that we were uh, posting into the gl however if you want to do the lump sum posting just execute one request which is named as create accounting it will ask you for certain parameters
you have to select your relevant application that is receivables select your ledger that is AE now you have to give your end date system will do all the posting till this date into the GL so let me select as 31st of March report style let's say so it will give you all the details transfer and posting say yes and then you can click on submit so now we have submitted the request and what this request will do it will take all the transactions all the complete transactions all the valid transactions into consideration and it will do the posting of these transactions into your GL uh, and this is more uh, similarly subsequent to the process that we are already doing for our payables, assets and, dif and different other modules. So there is nothing changed in this. And after that, it's like going to the GL and uh, viewing your uh, imported transactions. So in this way, it would, obviously there are a lot of transactions, so it can take some time. But anyways, this is the end-to-end -end process that we have covered. And uh, we have already covered this area. My next video will cover entering debit and credit memo. Thank you.